Take me out to the ball game. Take me out with the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jack. I don't care if I ever get back for its root. Root, root for the home team. If they don't win, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Hello, everybody. And Welcome to 1720 Bedford Avenue in Flatbush, Brooklyn, New York, Ebbets Field for today's game between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Brooklyn Dodgers. Game 14 in the 1957 Double Elimination Tournament using Fall Classic Baseball. Hello, everybody. This is Apple Bryan. Won't you pull up a chair and join me for today's game? When you go to the stadium, be sure you buy a scorecard. How can you t tell the players and their numbers without a scorecard? And I noticed notice in the Dodgers 1957 scorecard that the starting lineups for today are already printed in the proper lines. And so that's what we'll use today to score today's game. You get all the players' numbers and on the roster. Uh, one player I noticed is not on the roster in 1957 for Brooklyn is Tommy Lasorda. He was traded last year to the Kansas City A's. Didn't go so well. I think they released him. Maybe he's got a feature in baseball yet. All right, we're ready to play ball. Let's do the bullpen roll for today's starting pitcher for Brooklyn, Don Newcomb. He rolls a three. He's bringing his A stuff to the mound. And warming up in the St. Louis bullpen is... Sam Jones, he rolls a 20. He is not bringing his best stuff to the mound. He'll be operating off column C. Both teams won in the first round. The Dodgers defeated the New York Giants 3-2 in round one. And St. Louis easily brushed aside the Kansas City A's 9-1. Here's the first pitch of the game. Don Blaston game is swinging from the left side. I'm going to use the quick outs chart today and, and try to memorize the outs on the dice. The, this, the outs are based on the dice and sometimes the white die. We'll read the blue die first. Here's the pitch to Don Blaston game. Uh, already we got a home run roll off the card of Don Newcomb, minus 5, 1 to 15. It's a 20 on the 20 side of dice. That is an out. A drive dealt by the Polish rifle, Coffee Rillo. That brings the bat Al Dark, swings the bat from the right side. 4 2 to Al Dark to the pitcher's card. Newcomb has his A stuff. That's an out. A ground ball to third base. Pee Wee Reese scoops up off the turf, throws it across the diamond, and there are two outs. That brings out Stan the Man, Stan Musial. 6-1 off the pitcher's cards. A swing and a miss. Strike three. Newcomb has an easy 1-2-3 aim. We go to the bottom of the first. St. Louis nothing and Brooklyn coming to bat. And the bottom of the first, Junior Gillian. And Pee Wee Reese and Duke Snyder will hit for the Brooklyn Dodgers. Uh, Sam Jones is working off the CCOM. 32 is a out. Got him hit the ball on the nose, but right to the Cardinal left fielder, Wally Moon. What I want here is Pee Wee Reese playing third base and bringing a range of 17 to third base, which is tremendous. That means 1 through 17. On a ranch check, he'll make the play. Uh, 31 is going to be off the pitcher's card. 
base hit for Pee Wee Reese. A single hit the other way over the head of the second baseman, Don Blassing game. Reese is at first, one away. Uh, there is an automatic stealing system in Fall Classic, or you can, or the man can, can choose himself. I'm going to choose on my own. Reese was 5 of 7 in stolen bases. 14 is a success rate. That's pretty good. Here is Duke Snyder. I think we'll sit tight for now. Let Snyder swing away with a man on base. 26 is going to be a single off the split number. Base hit for Duke Snyder. A line drive to right field, retrieved by Del Ennis, thrown back to the infield. I'll draw a fast action in the car to see what the base runner does, and he will go to third base. First to third. Then bums are in business. First and third in the first. Gil Hodges steps up to the plate. Right on right. Here's a stretch and a pitch from Sam Jones to Gil Hodges. They're playing the infield back in normal depth. 56 is off the pitcher's card. That is going to be a swing and a miss. A big strikeout for Sam Jones. And Gil Hodges will return to the dugout disappointed. A strikeout victim. Two outs. And here's call for Rillo. A 306 hitter in 1957. That's a uh, 65 roll. That goes to the home run card. Uh, 1 to 10 on the pitcher will be a home run. It's a 6. It's a drive. It might be. It could be. It is out of here over the head of Wally Moon and into the stand. And a 3 run home run for Carl Fiorillo. The Dodgers take a 3 nothing lead in the first and say hello to the St. Louis Cardinals. Reese scores. Snyder scores. And now Wally Moon is getting his congratulations at the plate. Two out home run, Elmer Vallo. Three outs, but the Brooklyn Dodgers score three in the first on three hits. Three run home run by Carl Fiorillo. Misfilming Elmer Gra uh, Vallo grounding out to the shortstop. In between innings today, let's visit the Evans Field souvenir shops and um, can't go to the ballpark and not go home without souvenirs. First of all, I see a Sonnet Kurt Simmons deep cup baseball glove. Sonnet covers the field in 1957. You got to go home with a ball glove. Get that now and catch any foul balls that are hit your way. All right, we're ready for the top of the second inning. Dodgers are up three to nothing. Wally Moon steps into the box for St. Louis. Here's a pitch from Don Newcomb to Wally Moon, 43 is off the Newcomb card. That's going to be a ground ball to first base. Gil Hodges, a very good glove over there, has it and steps onto the bag. Three unassisted. We go to the next batter, and that is going to be former Philadelphia Philly, Dell Ennis. 3-4 is a Line drive that's going to fall in front of Duke Snyder. Two steps to his left. He retrieves it, throws it back into the infield, and Duke, uh, Duke Snyder has um, a fine glove out there in center field. Delanus is on first with one down. Not a threat to steal. Stole one out of four bases in 57. Kenny Boyer comes to the plate. One out, one on. Pitch to Ken Boyer, 55 is a drive into the gap between Fiorello and Snyder. One hops up to the wall, and that will be a double for Ken Boyer with the base runner holding at third. A fast runner would score. Second and third, only one out. Cardinals threatening to get that those runs back. Hal Smith, 295 hitter, or 279 hitter, hit 295 when he was in the World Series with the Pirates. But 279 hitter, pretty good offensive catcher. Steps into the box. St. Uh, St. Louis is looking at a Brooklyn infield that's playing normal death, trying to avoid a big inning. 
Here's the stretch and the pitch from Don Meekham. 32 is a ground ball to the second baseman, Junior Gilliam. He throws the first and batters out, but a run scores as the runners advance. Give Hal Smith an RBI on the 4-3 ground out. And the Cardinals are on the board with two outs. Brooklyn 3, St. Louis 1. Eighth place hitter is Eddie Casco, a 273 hitter. Newcomb is going to choose discretion and walk Casco to pitch to the pitcher, Sam Jones. So an intentional pass to Casco. He throws away the bat, runs to first. Sam Jones takes his bat to the right side of the batter's box. Don Newcomb goes into the stretch. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Sam Jones goes down swinging, but the Cardinals score once on two hits. They leave one stranded at third. We go to the bottom of the second. Brooklyn three and St. Louis one. It will be Campanella, Neal, and Newcomb in the bottom of the second inning. Here's a pitch from Sam Jones, 52 as a defense check. That is uh, air range of the right fielder. Right fielder is Del Ennis. Seven is the air range, and that's going to be an air on Ennis. One base air. Campanella, a slow runner, is at first base on the air by Del Ennis. Here is Charlie Neal. 270 hitter, 12 homers. In 57, he was one of the leaders of the Los Angeles Dodgers in the 19th. 59, he had a great, great year leading them to the 59 World Championship. Here's the pitch to Charlie Neal. 3-4 is off the pitcher's card. That's a single. A base hit to right field, the opposite way. The runner goes to third. Once again, the Dodgers have runners on the corners. Don Newcomb, a pretty good batsman at himself as a pitcher, 230 hitter, one homer in 74 at bats. Uh, St. Louis is going to play a double play death. Here is the pitch to Don Newcomb. 55 is going to be a single for Newcomb. He delivers, and with the runner on first, first of all, the runner on third will, of course, score. 4-1, to one, and the runner on first goes to second. If one out, um, we can try to send him to third against the assist rating of the left fielder, who is Wally Moon. A1, I'll take that chance. One is the assist number, so if you, we roll a one, he's out. Safe. RBI single for Don Newcomb helping his own cause. That's an unearned run as Campanella originally reached by an error. First and third against. Uh, still no outs. Top of the order and Julian Gilliam slide to left his first time up. Here's the pitch to Junior Gilliam. 24 is an out. And the 15X is going to be a 5-4-3 double play. Neal scores. It's 5-1. And now there's two outs, bases clear. Pee Wee Reese. Six four is a strikeout one to sixteen as Reese is caught looking. Three outs. Dodgers score two runs on two hits. Both runs were unearned. Another trip to the souvenir stand could yield a Spalding baseball. We got our glove. We got our baseball. Now we can play catch after the game. It's the top of the third and Don Blessing game. The top of the St. Louis order steps in. There are four runs down. Here's a pitch from Newcomb to Blessing game. 6-3 is a fly ball to center field. 
Duke Snyder is under it and picks it out of the sky. One away. Blasting game is 0 for 2 today. Al Dark. Twenty-one pop up right at the pitcher's mound on the right side. Gil Hodges moves in and makes the catch. Two down. That brings up Stan Musial, three fifty-one hitter in nineteen fifty-seven, with power, twenty-nine home runs. Three-five is uh, off Newcomb's card, and that is a fly ball to center field. Three up and three down for the Cardinals in the third. We go to the bottom of the third. Brooklyn five and St. Louis one. All right, the Duke of Flatbush, Duke Snyder, will lead off the Dodger third. He's single and scored his first time up. 62 is off Sam John's guard. It's a swing and a miss, strike three. One down. Gil Hodges. 299 hitter, 27 home runs and 57. 6 3 is a swing and a miss, strike three. That is the fourth strikeout for Sam Jones. 3 3 is a base hit for Carl Fiorillo, a drive into left field. Ferrillo is two for two with a home run and a single. Elmer Vallo, 273 hitter, two outs. Ferrillo, not a threat to steal. Base on balls to Elmer Vallo. Campy Campanella comes up to play. Switch to Campy. 64 is a swing and a miss, strike three. So said Sam Jones strikes out the side in the third inning. Dodgers have no runs on one hit. They strand two. We go to the fourth. Five to one Dodgers. All right, you guessed it. Another trip to the souvenir stand. How about a Ebbets Field beer mug? Got to have something sharp to remember Ebbets Field. Buy and drink your beer out of. Here is Wally Moon stepping in the top of the fourth for the Cardinals. There are four runs down. 2 4 is hit by pitch one. It's above that, so Moon is going to be out on a line drive to center field. Wally Moon is 0 for 2 today. 1 away. Del Ennis. One six. Ground ball to second base. Junior Gillian to his left. Picks it up. Flings it to first. Two outs. Cardinals scored nine runs in round one, but they have today amassed only two hits. There he is. Kenny Boyer, who has one of those hits, he had a double his first time up, 32, is off Newcomb's card, and that is going to be a fly ball to left field, caught by Elmer Vallo. That's three up and three down for the Cardinals. We go to the bottom of the fourth, five to one Dodgers. Charlie Neal steps in the box for Brooklyn, 61, off the pitcher's card is a swing and a miss, strike three. And the last five outs that said Sam Jones has recorded have all been by the way of the K. Here is Don Newcomb. He did not strike out his first time up. He singled and drove in a run. Here's the pitch to Newcomb. Swings the bat pretty well. 43 off of Sam Jones' card. Column C. There's going to be a base on balls. Dodger Bat Boy runs the jacket out to Newcomb. He is a slow runner at first base. Junior Gilliam steps into the box. He is a switch hitter, former Negro Leaguer. He will be batting from the left side against Sam Jones. One out, one on. Here's the pitch. 34 is a 
base hit to right field for Junior Gilliam. We're on fir first Newcomb. Even though he's slow, we'll go to third, that being the right field. First and third, Brooklyn. Seven hits and three plus innings off Sam Jones, and that will do it for his day. Timeout. Vinegar Ben Mizell will be brought in to pitch for the Cardinals. Eight and ten in 1957. He has runners on the corners. Newcomb at third, Gilliam at first, Gilliam at fast. Let's see what his steal rating is. Stole 26 out of 36 bases. SBS 14. Jump is six, so we're gonna have to worry about him getting a jump. Um, average arm for the left-hander, that's gonna be a little different. The chance to get a jump to steal the base off Mizell is one to three. He'll take that chance. Doesn't get it. All right, infield's playing back for St. Louis. Here's the pitch to Pee Wee Reese, 1 5. Oh, um, didn't do the bullpen roll for Mizell. So I'm going to pick a card. We're in the fourth inning. 20 sided die is a 13. And that is B column for Mizell. Meanwhile, the roll is 1 5. That's going to be a out. A pop to shallow center field caught by Ken Boyer. Not deep enough to score the runner. Duke Snyder. Snyder is one for two, singled, scored, and struck out. Two outs, infield back. Base on balls to Duke Snyder. Bags are full of them, them bums. That brings up Gil Hodges. Can Gil Hodges put a quarter in the merry-go-round? Here's the pitch to Hodges. Six, six, roll. That's a drive. It might be. It could be. It is out of here. A grand slam for Duke Hunt for Bill Hodges. There's a second down in a row. We've had a grand slam on the channel. Stan Lopatic did it Friday. And now Hodges has gone deep with the back swole. And I would say the horse is out of the barn. 9-1 to one Brooklyn which is what the Cardinals did to my ace. In the first round, they beat them 9-1. Here is Carl Villa with two outs. Now the base is clear. 43 is a out. And that's a ground out to the first baseman who flips to Mizell covering. That's the end of the fourth inning, but a productive fourth for the Brooklyn Dodgers. They score four runs on two hits. The Grand Slam by Gil Hodges, 9-1, Brooklyn. And it's time for, you guess it, another trip to the souvenir stand. There is a box of baseball cards there, Night Tops 1957 baseball cards, five cents a pack, only a nickel. I think there were probably about five cards per pack, but they're only a nickel. Let's buy the whole box. Don Newcomb, the happy beneficiary of nine runs today, completes his warm-up tosses. He'll be pitching to the Cardinal catcher, Hal Smith, swinging from the right side of the batter's box. One run roll for Smith, 16 on the 20 side of dice. That's going to be an out. It's above the splits, 13 for single. So well, what we got is a ground ball to shortstop. Six to three, one away. Eddie Casco. Casco rolls a 54. That's an unusual or wild pitch chart. Base is empty. Fly ball to left field. Roll versus against the E, e rating. It's, um, El Morello, he has a zero E rating, so he's not going to make an error. Two outs. Here's the pitcher, Mizell. 45 is off Newcomb's card. That is a ground ball to shortstop. Charlie Neal is up with it, throws across to Hodges. Three up and three down for the Cardinals in the fifth inning. Nine to one Dodgers. 
All right, Marizel prepares for his second inning of work. Elmer Vallow steps in the box for Brooklyn, 61. Uh, is a swing and a miss, strike three. Um, three, six, seven Dodgers have struck out today, but when they've made contact, they've made things happen. Here's a pitch to Roy Campanella. 6-2 is another swing and a miss, strike three. And now Charlie Neal. 6-2 is a swing and a miss, strike three. Vinegar Ben Mizell strikes out the Dodgers in order in the fifth inning. Go to the top of the sixth. Nine to one, Brooklyn. All right, we got to get a Dodger yearbook. 1957 has the bum carrying all the pennant flags of the Dodgers. If for no other reason, we want to remember all the years the Dodgers have won the pennants. Let's get that yearbook. All right, Mr. Nickerman is having a banner day today. Held, he's held the powerful Redbirds to one run. He's also singled and walk on the offensive side of things. Now, blessing game links off for St. Louis in the sixth. 53 is a defense chart that's going to check the range of the second baseman. Gilliam is a nine. The 20 sided die is an eight. And that means he's going to make the play one away. I suppose you could re-roll that die uh, just for dramatic effect, but since we've not used it, I just go ahead and use it. Here is Al Dark. 1-3 is going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. Charlie Neal throws to Hodges. Two up, two ground outs. Here is Stan the Man, Stan Musial. Swings the bat from the left side. Long stride. Here's a pitch to Musial. 23 is an out. And it's a ground out to shortstop. So three ground outs to the infield. And the Cardinals are brushed aside in the sixth. 9-1 to one, Brooklyn. Well, the good news today for the Redbirds is they have struck out nine Dodgers. The bad news is when they didn't strike them out, Dodgers have scored nine runs. Here's the pitch to Don Newcomb, 43, is a ball hit high in the air to right field. Del Ennis is under it, and Newcomb is retired for the first time today. One away. Junior Gilliam. One four is a ground ball to second base. Don Blessing game. Throws the first, two outs. Pee Wee Reese. Three six is off the pitcher's card. Mizell's working column B, and that's the third out. A ground ball to third. And uh, it's Eddie Casco making the play, five to three. Three up and three down for the Dodgers. We go to the seventh. Nine to one, Brooklyn. Let's make another trip to the souvenir stand. Baseball fans have got to stay up with, with what's happening around the all of baseball leagues. Let's get a, a baseball magazine, True Baseball Magazine, with Mickey Mantle on the cover. And it's only 25 cents. Don Newcomb comes back out of the mound and work the seventh inning. He has ideas of going the distance. He's ready to pitch to 35, 34 batters when he's starting, and so far he has seen only 20, 21 Cardinals. Wally Moon is the first scheduled hitter for St. Louis. 295 hitter in 1957. 63 is off Newcomb's A column. That's going to be a line drive to center field. Duke Snyder has it. Ball hit on the nose, but right to the fielder, Snyder. Del Ennis. 6-1. Swing and a miss, strike three. Ennis goes back to the dugout, a strikeout of the victim. He is one for three on the day. Scored the only Cardinal run today. Ken Boyer, who doubled home Del Ennis back in the second inning. Here's the pitch to 
Kenny Boyer, 21, is a fly ball to, or rather a ground ball, to shortstop. Three up and three down for the cards. Newcomb has held them to only two sing two hits and a walk. We go to the bottom of the seventh. Brooklyn's well ahead, nine to one. Vinegar Ben Mizell is ready to pitch to 22 batters in relief. He has so far only faced 10, so he might be able to land this plane for St. Louis. Luke Snyder steps into the box for Brooklyn. 41 is a base on balls to Duke Snyder. His second walk today. Not a big threat to steal. He was 3 for 7 and Stolen base attempts in 57, and their eight runs up. Here is Gil Hodges. 16. Ground ball to Alvin Dark. He's got it. Throws to second, over to first. It's going to be a 6 4 3. Twin killing. There's two outs. And now call Ferrillo. Ferrillo with the Second biggest blow for the Dodgers today. He had a three-run home run in the first inning. I just had the grand slam in the fourth. Here's the pitch to Carrillo with two outs. Five ones, a defense check. Get that in focus. It's going to be a exotic chart check for the third baseman. Eddie Casco is a Eight error rating, and it's above that. 16, he makes the play. Dodgers are out in the seventh. We go to the top of the eighth inning. Brooklyn nine and St. Louis one. New souvenirs for the bottom of the eighth inning, but I sure do want to save my ticket stub. After all, I paid $2 for it, and I want to remember this day where the Dodgers are winning 9-1. to one. Hal Smith will lead off for the Cardinals. Don Newcomb has allowed only three base runners over the minimum. 1-4 is going to be a ground ball back to Newcomb. He's got it and throws the first. Hal Smith is retired on a little roller to the pitcher. Eddie Casco. 31 is off the A column. That's going to be a base hit for Casco. Ground ball up the middle, knocked down by the shortstop, Neal, but couldn't make the play. It's a single, infield hit, one out, one on. All right, the Cardinals will turn to their bench and bring on a pitch hitter, Joe Cunningham. Joe Cunningham, a 318 hitter, was often a high average hitter for the Cardinals. And um, he will pitch it for the pitcher, Mizell. Lindy McDaniel is warming up in the bullpen for St. Louis. He'll pitch the bottom of the eighth inning. Here's a stretch in the pitch from Don Newcomb to Joe Cunningham. A left handed batter, 21, is a ground ball to first base. If Hodges has a strong arm, he'll turn a double play. He throws the second back to first, not in time. I just has an average arm. So it's a fielder's choice for Cunningham. He's on first base. Average speed. Here is Don Blessing game. Two outs. Pitch to Blessing game is a 5 6. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Blessing game is 0 for 4 today. Cardinals on one hit. Don't score in the eighth inning. We go to the bottom of the eighth. Brooklyn 9 and St. Louis 1. Kofi Rolla steps into the box, a right-handed hitter for Brooklyn to lead off the bottom of the eighth inning. 41 is, oh, I've got to do the bullpen roll for McDaniel. Uh, we'll use a fast action car. We're in the eighth inning, and he rolls a seven, he rolls a 17. That's the C column for Lindy McDaniel. But on a roll of 41, whichever call it is, that's going to be a base on balls. And we've got to double check that. That's Ferrillo was the last batter, last inning. So Elmer Vallo, same result. It's going to be a walk to Vallo. 
He goes the first. Roy Campanella. Five three, that's a defense chart range. Possible single to left field. Valo's range is twelve, it's a six, he makes the play. That brings the bat Charlie Neal. Six four. A ground ball to Alvin Dark to blasting game in a second. Strong throw to first. Six four three double play. And that's only a double play if the second baseman has a strong arm and the second baseman blasting game does. So that retires the Dodgers in the eighth. We go to the top of the ninth. Brooklyn nine and St. Louis one. Right, no new trip to the souvenir stand, but let's open up a couple of packs of our baseball cards, see who we got. I see a Jack Sanford and Harry Anderson of the Phillies. I see a Bubba Phillips of the White Sox. No stars in this bunch, but here's a Dodgers Sluggers card. I want that. Thurillo, Hodges, Campanella, and Snyder. Anytime you can get more than one star on your baseball card, that's a win-win. Don Newcomb does come out to pitch the ninth inning. He's still six batters away from his point of fatigue. And St. Louis, eight runs down. We'll need a miracle in the ninth. Al Dark steps into the box for the Cardinals. 36 is a fly ball to left field. Elmer Vallo is under it. One away. Two outs to go. And Don Newcomb will have a complete game victory. Here is Stan Musial. Musial 1-3 is going to be a base on balls. Stan the man takes first. Here is Wally Moon. Stan the man takes first. Okay, 2-2. Two, two. Wally Moon gets a base hit. And that is a line drive into left field. Runner goes from first to third. Hold or run with risk. He'll hold it second. The right runs down. Del Ennis. 3-2 is ground ball to third base. Reese has it, throws the second, the total first, not in time. Those have runners on the corners. Two outs. And Kenny Boyer is the batter. Boyer is one for three, doubled in the second inning. Six six roll. There's a drive. It might be. It could be. It is out of here. A three run home run for Ken Boyer. Just barely got over the wall in left field. Three run score for the Cardinals, and it is now nine to four with two outs in the ninth inning, and Hal Smith coming to the plate. That was a 1-11 split, and it was an 11 roll. Here's the pitch to Hal Smith. 2-2 two -two is a single for Smith. A single to right field. The opposite way. And that is the point of fatigue better face for Don Newcomb. He'll go to a column D, and um, it's pretty brutal on rolls 31 to 65. Let's do one, one of those and see what happens. Here's a pitch to Eddie Casco. 15, that's going to be an out, a line drive to third base, snagged by... Pee Wee Reese ending the ball game, but the Cardinals score three times in the ninth. I mean, three run home run by Ken Boyer. The final score today from Ebbets Field the Brooklyn Dodgers nine and the St. Louis Cardinals four. All right, while my partner kindly gathers up all my souvenirs, I'll give you the line score to today's game. The St. Louis Cardinals scored four runs on six hits and one error. That one error allowed two runs to score. The 
Brooklyn Dodgers scored nine runs on ten hits. The last hit came in the fourth inning on Coffee Hall's or Gil Hodges' uh, grand slam. No more hits after that, but they had all they needed. Nine runs on ten hits, and they no errors. So the losing pitcher is Sad Sam Jones. Winning pitcher is Don Newcomb, who goes all the way, gives up four runs on six hits. Home runs today. Home run uh, by St. Louis, Kenny Boyer, three-run home run in the ninth. And there was a three-run shot for Carl Ferrillo and the Dodgers in the first. And the big blow, the Grand Slam. Second Grand Slam in two days on the channel. This by Gil Hodges in the fourth inning. It was a team effort by the Dodgers today. Everybody in the lineup got on, at least got on base. They didn't all get hits. But we'll make the star of the game, Carl Ferrillo, uh, um, the star of the game. Yeah, let's make it Carl Ferrillo. He went three for four with a three-run homer or two for four of the three-run homer. Coffee Roll is today's star of the game. We are playing this 1957 double elimination tournament. Half the games offline, half the games uh, uploaded to the channel. Um, the last game played offline was the Pittsburgh Pirates losing to the Baltimore Orioles 6-1. to one. Here's a look at what the tournament bracket looks like now. There's just one game left to play in the uh, second round. That's the Chicago White Sox at the Boston Red Sox. I'll play another game offline, but I think I'll put that White Sox-Red Sox game on the channel tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, and God bless.